Tomorrow, new restrictions will take effect here in El Paso County due to a surge in COVID-19 cases. The state has now required El Paso County to move into a more restrictive, safer at home phase. And that phase orange now. KRDO News Channel 13's Colby Crossley spoke with a local restaurant owner who will have to adjust while fearing the worst is yet to come. He has our continuing coverage. <laughs> As employees continue to work and people sit to enjoy their breakfast, the thought of uncertainty fills the room at Western Omelette. It's a terrible feeling because, first of all, it's, it's hard to try to figure out what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and when we're going to do it, and what is really right and what is really wrong. El Paso County is moving to level orange safer at home, which means restaurants must have no more than 25% of capacity or up to 50 people. Well, it used to sit 200, but now we're down to uh, 100, and then now we're going to have to cut back even that. So I, I, it's, I, don't, I don't have answers right now. So hopefully we'll come out of this door and be able to utilize this. So trying to adapt to the changes, Bill Borders, co-owner of Western Omelette, is trying to get creative. We do have a patio, so we're going to try to enclose it with that canvas type thing and then put heaters out there. Hopefully that'll work. We don't know. However, Border says he's thankful this isn't a complete shutdown. The last shutdown earlier this year almost put his downtown location out of business. Luckily, they were able to make it through. But Maine's concern is the customers and the employees, but if you don't have money coming in, what are you going to do? Moving forward, Bill says they will continue to follow the rules and roll with the punches. But in the back of his mind, that not knowing feeling lingers. In Colorado Springs, Colby Crosley, Cardio News Channel 13. Rising